Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the Let's Play of Lord of the Rings Online with, with Dulane and we are in Angmar still for Volume 1, Chapter 6. In the meantime, I actually should have done this back four levels ago. I've got all my books now and hopefully I can get some of these in Angmar. Basically, you collect different pages for different legendaries and you get different skills for completing the legendaries. The mobs that drop them are humanoid, so they might be orcs, might be, might be a half, a half orcs, they may be angmarim, any kind of man, any kind of dwarf. I think you can do it, goblins can, and you can get all these different skills. So, some of them, I think it's changed a bit, two dropping one, I think they drop in four different places. At the time of read, the time of playing, I'm not too sure where they are. I, I know there's some in Eregion, you've got some in the Misty Mountains, you've got some in Angmar. And the fourth place eludes me, I forget. But I'll have to check that out at some point. Skills. So without further ado, let's go into the next quest. Greetings. So, would you know, so you would know how this tragedy came to be. In truth, I know not. I do not know whether it was through some machination of the False King, or whether it was purely some by evil chance. But our march was brought to an abrupt end. As we marched east, we found ourselves confronted by a veil filled with terrible statues. Ramas Deluan, the hillman called it. That some spirit of evil vigilance abode in the stones, there was no doubt, for we all could feel the oppression of them. It was there that Galadorf bade me remain. By the way, I am a bit chesty today, so I do apologise if I'm, I'm sounding a bit rough. But, you know, we all go through it. <laughs> so anyway, as the host passed through the stones, it became very clear why the Hillman feared the valley so much. When the last few men came and crossed Ramus de Luan, the watching stones threw forth a terrible malaise of oppression, such that those men caught, it with, caught within it were stricken dead by the weight of it upon their hearts. I tried to pass the stones, but could not. Galadir bid me remain, and so I did. Days turned into months, then years, and still Galadir did not return. I knew I should not have re I should have returned at once to Estelda, but I could not abandon my captain. I tried rallying across where I must tell you one, until my very spirit was broken within me. At last I was I sent the message to Estelda, which brought you hither. We must learn the secret of Ramas Deluan and Navarro. Perhaps one of many the many lesser watched stones which lit this land, especially near the camps of the Angry and Hillman, will reveal that secret. Go to one of the lesser watching stones and take a rubbing off the runes. Beware the fell and deadly stones, for they have a too terrible a power. Now this is basically going into the whole idea of dread. And uh, as you know, you have hope. And the higher hope you have, the more skills you have. The more effectiveness you have in battle, like you have, if you have higher hope, you get extra bit of health, you get some extra regen, you do more, you deal more damage, and you take less damage. But if you go into higher dread, which you'll see shortly, you'll have lower health, you'll do less damage, like a couple of skill levels below, you'll take more damage to yourself and stuff like that. It used to be very prominent in the game back in the days of Minds of Moria. And I heard my microphone is recording; it should be. But um, it was very prominent back in the day because it used to be needed to do instances like the Watcher. You needed radiance, and ra ten radiance was equal to one hope, and you needed about fifteen hope to survive it. I think if that's correct, if I remember correctly. And that was quite a hard one. And then I think when we did Dar Nabugud later on, you needed more than that, I believe. But it's been so long since I've done those, but basically, you know, a lot of people were stuck because you had to do these instances to get the to get the to get them. To get these different pieces of armour that you needed to wear. And each armour gave you like ten radiance or one hope or whatever it was at the time. And it you know, it did annoy a hell of a lot of people. Because it didn't make it made it, it put an artificial brick wall up against you to play the game. Now, it's actually bad at the moment, I believe, as well, because they've put so much they've put so much on you actually needing points-wise to get these certain items. So basically, you, you get tokens, but you need stupid amounts of these tokens to actually 
you know, go in and do these fights. So it doesn't. It sounds like they've got to be backwards again. But like I say, I haven't done any of the new raids since. I haven't done it properly since um, back in what's it called, the one in Merkwood. That's the last time I did it properly. I've tried in the past, but just recently. But I just haven't been as motivated to do the raids. Go on, Jim. Welcome back, son. Go and kill him. I should have really changed him to an archer. Go and kill that one. Okay, I'm going to use my course of today just to help him out a little bit. Ow. I'm going to heal myself up just a little bit. Dismiss. I'm not exactly going to be using them all the time. So these are the watching stones. And there's different ones. But the idea of this book is you're going to be continuing forward to get to learn about the watching stones and see how you can get past them. For all intents and purposes though, you will be doing these books to get yourself through Angmar to be able to do the rest of the areas. But I won't be actually doing Angmar. It's a nice region but I don't really... I don't enjoy it as much as I do say a Regian or Thyrakel. Because you have to do this book, like I said, you have to finish off this book completely to get a title. So like I said, the artificial brick wall, but for this it's not too bad. The mission, if you do this instantly, it doesn't take long to do. Oh god. I'm having to oil myself up. I'm drinking loads of fluids. Hey, you returned. Did you bring the robin? Good, let me see it. What can I do for you? These runes are of an elvish mode, but the language is in the black speech in what which I am not very well versed. But I do know a little, and I can see that these runes speak of a heart located within the stone. Perhaps if I could study one of the stone hearts, a way to undo the spell upon them can be found. There are some lovely stones east of here from which you may collect such a heart without fear. Bring me a stone heart as quickly as you may, so that we may be done with our duty. I'm actually progressing through this book really quick anyway, especially considering I'm running all the way through. So where are we? Oh god, another 1700 metres. And it's all the way over in Melonhead. So what I'm going to do... All you need to do is be careful when you're running along here. You're going to see loads of the wargs and beasts, so try and avoid them. But I'm actually going to skip this bit a little bit and I will see you guys in a moment or two. Now if you carry on along as you can see just a couple of landmarks if you see these towards your left keep on walking just keep on going keep on going this way as long as you're following that mountain side you should be good and then now you'll see Malinhad Western Malinhad is quite a dank nasty place it's been taken over by a lot of turtles and drakes, so the dragons have kind of been brought to life here. They've been growing up and stuff. And bog lurkers are not very nice either. It reminds me back in the day of Shadows of Angmar, there was a good spot, and it's still a really good spot now. It's probably down where I'm, towards where I'm facing. There was basically a big, a big loop you could do with worms, and we'd get all the worms together, and we'd keep running around for ages. Put them all like 20 or 30 of them in a big in a group of six. You had to have a fellowship at the time, it was you know, you couldn't handle that many drags, but we completely power through them. I think after about a couple of hours, you'd have your rep done for that character, and oh my god, it was beautiful! So much fun. But yeah, these turtles are not very nice, deadly iron scales. There is a boss one, a signature one, it might even be elite, and you don't want to be fighting that on your own. Well, you can do, it's possible, it's doable, I've done it, there we go. Ancient Iron Scale. Elite Master. Oh, it's Elite Master now, damn it, I am not going to get away with that. You know what, I'm going to try. Let's give you some action for once. Let's see what it does. How much damage will it do? Um, get that a war speech. Come on. Jim's gonna die. No. Run. Forget that. Forget that. 
Where is my stillest death? That hurt. That was painful. Sorry, Jim. Hold on. No, I don't want the mount. Anyway, I don't need to be, but I'm not going to be fighting anything. I'm just going to run. I was looking to get the steel of the minstrel, but I'm not paying 2,000 coins yet. It's a lot of money. I've got, I've got it, but I'm not wasting it. I'd rather get the cat get that later. Maybe I will. The good thing about the steeds of the steeds of your classes, they are they've got a good speed boost. They've got like a two hundred sixty eight percent run speed, that's an extra eight percent compared to these. And they've got more health and stuff. Now I'm sure the right watching stone is over here, so let's be careful. Yeah, you see those big things over there, that's what you're looking for. Oh, they've put some. They've actually made them a bit redder. Nice. But actually, this is the one here. I think it's one of these ones, definitely. So ignore the, ignore that little block there. It's in this section here somewhere. You examine the watching stone closely and discover through a crack in the stonework a strange dark rock. As you pick up the rock, you experience a brief feeling of uneasiness, but it passes quickly. Back to Carly now. What do you need? This does appear to be such a stone as the runes described, but it's of little use. The heart is cracked. How can I be of service? And that's a good way to end the video on a level. Sweet, dude. And I'm level 43. So thanks, guys, for watching. We are up close to ending this book up really quick. So, guys, have a good day. Have a good night. Thanks for spending your time in Lord of the Rings Online. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. Adios.